for fall and just give you guys my recommendations for colors. And I was thinking about doing like lip swatches, but I've literally worn all of these in lip swatches before or I've worn them in different videos on my channel. So if you guys want, I can link videos to each color in case you like want to see a specific one and see how it looks on my lips. I will do hand swatches for you guys, but honestly, I just do not feel like brutally torturing my lips today, um, especially since like my pregnancy has made them so dry. Um, I don't think that they could handle it right now, so I will do um, hand swatches. I also just realized that I don't have ColourPop Love Bug with me right now. It might be in my bathroom, I honestly don't know, but I wore it in my ColourPop haul. But that is a really great fall shade too. Also, if you're wondering what's on my lips right now, it is the Pure Lip Lacquer in the shade Bell that I got in my September BoxyCharm. So the only nude shade I really had to recommend is ColourPop Trap. If you are a darker skin tone, um, this might not flatter you. It's a very cool toned nude and it is um, the Ultra Matte Lip Formula from ColourPop. It's just kind of got a mauve -y purple tone to it. See how pretty that is? It's not really like a really light nude on me. I'm sure like up to like a medium skin tone could wear this and it'd be flattering. But if you're like darker, you might have to use like a lip liner or something with it. But I really love this shade and I feel like it's perfect for fall. The next shade I have to mention is Kat Von D Lolita. It's definitely a darker neutral on me, but it's just really, really pretty for fall. Honestly, like I don't even know how to explain to you guys why I like these shades for fall. I just do. This is kind of like a little bit more rosy than the other one. And in like as I said, it's like a darker neutral on me. So I really like that. The next shade I have to mention is Cheap Thrills from ColourPop. Again, Ultra Matte Lip Formula. Um, this looks kind of light in the tube, but it's actually a very dark shade. So there it is. You guys can see... It will dry a little bit darker, but it's just like a teeny bit more purple than um, Trap. And it's also, um, like I said, it'll dry a little bit darker. But I think that this is a really beautiful, like kind of like a wearable berry mauve. It's not like super vibrant. It's not super, super dark, um, especially if you have a little bit of a tan. <laughs> It'll look pretty, really pretty on you. So my favorite berry that I own, which I really don't wear berries all that often, which is why this is like the only one that I own, but it is Stila Aria. And I believe the Sephora lip cream in the shade Blackberry Sorbet is the same as this. And I would recommend that formula over this one and it's a little cheaper. However, this shade is just, oh, so beautiful. I just did a really thick swatch. My bad, but you guys can see it there. It is just a beautiful, beautiful berry, and I just love this shade. So speaking of the Sephora Cream Lip Stains, um, this is my go-to red. It is so stunning. There's actually a set on Sephora right now, which is only $12, and you get like mini, um, four miniatures of this. And I know that this shade is in the um, set. And then Blackberry Sorbet, the one that's a dupe for this one I just told you about, is in the set also. Um, so you guys should really pick that up if you get the chance because it's only $12. And this is one of my favorite formulas ever for liquid lipsticks. And it's only $14 for the full size. And like I said, I will link videos down below of me wearing this shade because it is so vibrant, so beautiful. They also have a pink one that I own that I really like. It's like a pinky red and then they have like a like kind of pretty mauve one. It's not my favorite shade on me, but on others it looks so beautiful. So as you guys can see, it's a true, beautiful, bright, vibrant red. And I really like reds in fall. So another shade that I really love is the Caffeine Lights Times Miami Fever. The Caffeine Lights Times Ofra Miami Fever. And I'm not the biggest fan of the Ofra formula. I know, shoot me, everyone in the world is obsessed with this formula, but I prefer it to be a little bit more drying than this. Um, however, I do love, love, love this shade, so I will definitely still wear it, and it's just like such a cool color. Very like browny orange. So there is Miami Fever right there. Absolutely stunning, I love it. Another shade I'm obsessed with is Limbo from ColourPop. 
Um, this is a really like brownie red type shade. Um, it's very beautiful and I did not buy it when it first released because I was kind of scared of it. Um, however, I think that if you have blue or green eyes, that browns like really, really make them pop. And I love that about this shade. So you can see it right there. And I know that right now it looks like a true brown. However, I'm about to swatch True Brown K from Kylie Cosmetics at next to it and you'll see how red it is. But um, I definitely love this shade and I feel like in this formula it's only $6. So it's worth trying and like seeing if you like it at least. I mean, it's not an everyday shade by far. But I feel like for fall, it just looks so, so pretty with like really dramatic eyes and like, I don't know. I really love the way it brings out the green in my eyes. Okay, so like I just mentioned, the next shade is True Brown K from Kylie Cosmetics. I also really like Candy K. It's a really pretty nude and Dulce K is okay also. But um, I just really, really love it. this one because it is, like the name states, a true brown. So... I'll swatch it for you guys. It's definitely more expensive than the ColourPop ones. However, I think it's just amazing. So now you can definitely see between True Brown and Limbo how red Limbo is and how um, True Brown is a lot more neutral and stuff, but I love all of these shades so much. So these next two shades are kind of more on trend for this fall coming up and a like really popular color coming up is going to be like blackened purples and blacks um, are just getting more popular for fall so I thought I would mention a blackened purple just in case you're too scared to rock the actual black so the purple that I have to mention is from Colourpop and this is in the shade Guess oh god now that I'm sitting here thinking about it I don't know if they sell this anymore I'm not sure. If they don't, I will try and look up a dupe for you guys and leave it down below. I feel bad now. So there is Guess from ColourPop. As you can see, it is very black, but it's kind of got enough purple going on that it's not all the way black, so it's a little bit more wearable. It's still pretty out there, but I really like that shade. And then my favorite black liquid lipstick is this one from Kat Von D. It's in the shade Witches, and the only thing I can say about this liquid lipstick that's not good is that it smells like an auto shop. So I'm not really sure what that means, but yeah, that's a really ugly swatch. But here is um, Witches. So as you can see, just like how True Brown, you can see it's True Brown, and then that brought out the red in Limbo, this really brought out the purple in Guess. So you can see the difference. Even though if you don't have the light directly on it, they look the same. I'm trying to make them dry faster. That way I can show you guys the true colors real quick. But here they are pretty much dry. They're all really, really beautiful colors. And I just cannot wait to rock all of these this fall. And I'm super excited. Even though I'm living in Texas now, so is fall even going to happen? Probably not. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.